time in coming out and giving a statement. He's scheduled to make... Here we go. Here we go, Jane. This is the audio feed from the court. Superior Court of the State of California for the County of Santa Barbara, Santa Maria Division, the people of the State of California Plaintiff versus Michael Joe Jackson Defendant, case number 1133603, count one, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of conspiracy as charged in count one of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count two, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count two of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count three, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count three of the indictment, Dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count four, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count four of the indictment. Dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Count five, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count five of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Count six, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of attempting to commit a lewd act upon a minor child as charged in count six of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. There are only count the seven counts verdict. Now remaining we, the jury in the above entitled the case, Did find the defendant the not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count seven of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count seven verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count seven of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count eight, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count eight of the indictment, dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count eight verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense that charged in count eight of the indictment. Dated June 13th, 2005, four person number 80. Count nine, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count nine of the indictment. Dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Count nine, verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count nine of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Count 10, verdict. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of administering an intoxicating agent to assist in the commission of a felony as charged in count 10 of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Count 10, verdict, lesser offense. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing alcoholic beverages to persons under the age of 21, a lesser included offense of that charge in count 10 of the indictment, dated June 10th, 2005, four person number 80. Not guilty. Out here, outside the courtroom, 
The cries and cheers became louder and louder with each finding of the jury that Michael Jackson was not guilty. Michael Jackson himself, the first time we've seen him since being acquitted on these charges. Just walking through the court, not an emotion on his face. He still looks rather blank, composed. One can only imagine what roller coaster of emotions he may well have been going through in the moment before those verdicts came through. Ian Doverston was in the court. This is his account. Pictures of Michael Jackson waving to the crowd, walking out, and the crescendo grows from his fans. shake of the hand, says one final grateful thanks to his defence team, and straight into the SUV. These black vehicles that have borne him to and from this court these last four months. A pat on the back from Thomas Mesereau. And the Jackson car is leaving court. He's a free man. The crowd surge on the street to watch the car leave. Justice was done. The man's innocent. He always well, in the end, he was only here for 45 minutes. What a momentous 45 minutes in Michael Jackson's life. Hello. Some of the fans here can't believe this. They've waited, many of them, through day in, day out, throughout the testimony, throughout this long seven days of the jury deliberating. And they cannot quite believe that now it's all over. How's Santa Maria? Ten. Here's Ian nine, Doverston. Eight. He's going to tell us now what it was like inside the courtroom Four, as those decisions three, came through. Let's join Ian Doverston. One. I've just heard uh, Judge Rodney Melville say to a court his last words to a court as he left um, from the door uh, that's been to his left all of the time. He said to Mr. Jackson, Michael Jackson, he said, Mr. Jackson, your bail is exonerated and you are released. Words that will be played, I'm sure, on countless occasions uh, from now uh, forevermore, I would imagine. It was an incredibly dramatic time in court. Uh, let me tell you how it happened. Before the verdict, uh, we were treated to almost, perhaps in the region of 10 minutes, of the judge going through brown envelopes, tearing them open and seeing what the verdicts were inside. So at that stage, the secret was shared by the 12 members of the jury, eight women and four men who've made this decision, and the judge in court. He spent an awful lot of time talking to the jury after those uh, verdicts had been uh, released, and that was his one statement at the end. He gave this statement, uh, Mr. Jackson, uh, your bail is exonerated and you are released. That is the one thing that he said to Michael Jackson right at the end of this. And let me tell you, while these verdicts...